Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play RimWorld. We've got, let's see, visitors? Yes, yeah, right, we've got visitors from... from Zerigium. Um, Hacker's Mountain. There were two of them, that's right, so Bryden and Pepper. Now, what happens to these guys when you're here? Their food and rest run out. They're hot. Look, I'm looking for another flea-like breakdown about to happen. So Pepper is probably going to have an incident here before long. Now, <clears throat> factions, Hacker's Mountain are enemies of the Animal Band and Trado of Shrew. So there are same enemies here. So, if it were such a thing as someone who liked us and would visit was an enemy of someone else who liked us and would visit then we could have two people that are on our side both having themselves a little bit of a shootout here in our front yard but this particular map this particular world doesn't seem to have that uh, possibility anyway let's get the game going now we've got a spaceship coming in so there's a, there's, a, there's a ship going over the planet right now and it's breaking up so, rough uh, rough world out there, rough space out there. These guys are already up and working. We're going to need everybody up who can be up. So let's look things over. Eric, you... No, try that again. Need your rest. You're at, right at your breaking point. We're going to leave Eric alone. So, okay, let's go another route here. Shay, you... Whoa are crashing hard. We're going to leave you alone too. AJS is working and his mood, you know, they're, they're all down there because everybody's hot and cranky. Um, temperature indoors is 70 degrees. I don't think I showed you this last time. So this guy, where does it tell me? Right here. It's set for 70 and you can change the temperatures here. You can reconnect it to a different power supply and and uh, that's how you manipulate this thing. You can turn it off completely. So we can tell it what temperature we want to, to run in here. 70 is, is pretty good for indoor temperatures. So we'll go with that. So Snow Coyote, you, they're all well below the, well they're just above the breaking point but this is where it's forecast to go. G getting some rest is going to help and but it, this is an ugly environment here. Brand, are you still set for cleaning? You are not. I'm going to toggle you back to cleaning when you wake up. Let's get at least the home environment looking good and get some of these negatives away. Because there's a lot of negatives building up. Crowded is a biggie right there. If we can get somebody to leave this room, let's get, you know, if we can get the animals. Yes, we need to get the animals out of here. We really do. Um, hmm, we only have four right now. Let's pop in four quick sleep spots. Well, that's all considered one room, though. Until we get doors in, this is all one bedroom still, according to the game. Huh. I don't think we can put animals in here. So I think that's out. Here we go. Let's get animals in here. I like that. Let's do that. This will be our outdoor stable. Um, it doesn't it doesn't have a roof right now. That's why you see the sunlight through it So if we were to pop in a door, I'm gonna run this for a little bit without the game running so that we can concentrate Let's see. I want wood so we can concentrate here um, This span shouldn't be too big for to support a roof So I think we're fine distance wise and sleep spots furniture animal sleep spots one two three four five six seven eight nine eventually we'll get the hay brought down over here for the alpaca but right now he can be eating the the grass outside we're not restricting him to any one place and we need to cool down this area here he's 103 degrees he well we, we do have hot but it's only a negative five okay so this commits by warden to 47 positive is really helping out a lot but we really do need to think about cooling this at some point Anyway, um, who else can we wake up is what I'm trying to figure out that can be available. Okay, I'm thinking, let's see, rest is still quite low for rokes. Ash is sleeping. Ash is in pretty good shape. We're going to get Ash up. 
Okay, Eric, we know you can't. Brand, you've actually gotten three quarters of your sleep in. Eh, well, you're all in pretty rough shape right now. I don't want any mental breakdowns, if I can avoid it. Let's see what this first ship does to us. The remains of an unknown ship crasher or, or ship are crashing nearby. Beware of impacts and be ready to rescue folks. Okay. So we're coming in. Don't know where yet. It hasn't told us. What else is happening down here? I did notice that the deer that we targeted are now mixing with the main herd. So this is going to get a little exciting down here in a bit. And Eric actually cannot run. That's right. Huh. We may have to divert Eric. Make, uh, well, Huntsman, if he does get recruited and does become Rabbit, then may make him the long-distance hunter and keep Eric more of the, uh, you know, uh, sniping things that come nearby. If those deer come after Eric, he's he's a he's a goner. He's he's definitely a target. A cargo container with mixed trade goods is crashing nearby, coming in right near us too, which is kind of convenient. Although we're gonna have fire popping in here. Also. All right, good stuff. Ooh, we have clothes. Alpaca button-down shirt, good quality. Uh, camel hair, good quality. What have you got? A simple prosthetic arm, a kidney. A lung, seem to be common things. Ooh, an assault rifle, only poor quality though. And a uh, an SMG, is like a uh, machine gun. Small. What are you? Another one, shoddy one, and a superior one. Okay. All right. Well, let's get the fires out over here, and then we'll turn the game back on. So, we are telling them that uh, you know they heard the crash and they know to immediately jump out there. And I want to... You're going for a meal. Um, no, I need you to go after fire right now. You're still going after a meal. Okay, so you deem... Let's see. Work. Fire. Those who can do it. It's only set for a two. Which is their first two. There are no other ones out here except for cleaning. Okay, so this should still work out fine. You three are up. So let's trigger you to see who goes off to get fires. Uh, do the fire. Ashes up, trigger you, and we'll leave Dr. Dwayne alone. Let him try to convince, let's see, um, a Huntsman over there. We have fire starting to form, crashing in. So just the one thing coming in. So either everything else burned up in the atmosphere, or this was a like a cargo uh, ship coming over that uh, ran into some space debris. Is that what I thought it was? Human meat. Hmm. Feed that to the dogs. Though I don't know if we want to give the dogs a taste for human meat. That could be a problem. Is that everything? <clears throat> Fire, low food. Dr. Dwayne failed. He has a 10% chance. Brand had an 8% chance. So Dr. Dwayne's a little bit better. Can you guys not haul anything while you're doing this? You're all probably going in to get something to eat, aren't you? Mining marble. Okay. Let's see. Um, Eric is not out here. Who else was good at shooting? Harriet, Eric, Brand, Dr. Dwayne, and Snow Coyote. Harriet, how about you grab the... Hmm... I want to save this for someone who's likely to hunt, and she is likely to always be on that stove. She is the best at that. Let's give her this one here. She won't be using it as... What is that? She's a brawler. She's not going to be happy. Never mind. Okay. Cancel that order. Ash, you weren't on the list, right? Hunting. Where are you at? Hunt. Oh, Hunt's over here. I was looking at Wardening, wasn't I? All right, never mind. Eric... Rokes and AJS. Okay. AJS needed something. All right. He has now got this guy. The superior quality um, machine gun. Small machine gun? I don't know what the S stands for. Uh, grab that one. And Ash, you're going to just prioritize hauling that in. And Harriet, you can haul this one in. You're not a hauler. Okay. What is hiding in here? A psychic animal pulser. What are you? One use artifact that drives all animals in the region into a man hunting rage. 
Okay. I can see using that to take out a large band of, of uh, pirates that are trying to besiege you with mortars coming in, but you're certainly going to pay the consequences of ever using that thing. Huh. I don't think so. I do know that I need you guys to haul in. What are you doing, Shay? Training? Yeah, let's see. Alpaca? Uh, training. Let's... Well, we'll see what happens when he hits one of one. But I do need to get this food hauled in. I wish these guys would get to it. Uh, more so than mining. So let's, let's see why that's not happening. Hauling is over here as a two. So we have to get through all the other twos first. That's why. So Shay is going to handle and cook first. AJS is going to construct, repair, and mine first. The mining is going to eat us... You know, all the way through. Plant cut. Okay, so Snow Coyote could... Now she just wants to... Yeah, she'll dive into hauling. Um, Dr. Dwayne, wardening, and then he will haul. Okay, that's good. And Rokes, construct and repair. There's not a lot of constructing and repairing to do. So we'll then plant cut, which there isn't any more. So we'll then art, which there isn't any. And then we'll haul. Okay. Who is our... I think craft is the sewing. This includes stone cutting, smelting, and more. Um, art, beautiful works, tailoring. Ah, tailoring. Who is our tailor? Three, four, we don't have a tailor. Be nice to have a tailor. So I guess Shay is our best tailor at the moment. So he's going to get his, that, that is a two over there. Though he'll probably never get past Cook. Let's go to three on Cook, which will help us get to hauling right now until we actually have a uh, Cook station set up. Okay. Anyway, um, so what are we doing? Did it happen? Trained, obedience, alpaca, animals, alpaca, we're there. And I'm going to make the guess, I haven't gone back to my notes, that it was Rokes that was wanted, that was wanting Alpaca, which I cannot rename, right? Master Rokes needs health, no renaming, okay. So Alpaca 1 is now going to be attached to Rokes, unless I hear otherwise, or after this episode I'll try to remember to go back through my notes and make sure that was right. I think that's right. Um, and then... Who should we assign? Let's see. Animals. We've got Pest to the Labrador Retriever. He's right now attached to Shay. They're all going to be attached to Shay because he's doing the training. So we do have the ability to uh, uh, to reassign them to other people. Let's go to Bloody. Make sure that you are set up to at least get basic obedience. Okay. Now if I were to toggle... Oh, this way. Okay, here we go. So, basic obedience on all the animals, including football. So, back this way. Okay. So, it's queued up at least, if not actually happening. Shay is going to try to talk to the monkey now. <laughs> I think. Yeah, training bloody. Alright, so... You know, I had a whole list of things to get done last time, and never even looked at my list. So... Because I keep getting distracted looking at other things. I see we need to get rid of these two. Otherwise, I think we're doing a pretty good job of nailing this pattern here. Now, if I were to hit create stockpile, it will fill in all the, the blanks. No, it won't. Didn't work. Okay. I'm going to delete that stockpile. Let's do it manually. So stockpile, grip over here, and just move across like that. And let's queue up. Uh, orders, mine, these two. Okay. Um, all right, so on my list of things to do, horseshoes, there's something we need to get done. We need to give them some choices and variety for, for taking some leisure time, especially with it being so hot that they're, that they're angry right now. So go to Joy, and we've got horseshoes. We could pop that in. We'll do a steel horseshoe stake right there, and oh, right there. So they'll throw horseshoes once in a while. 
we can do billiards when we're, when we're all set up with this big room here and figure out how we're going to do this. When this is all done, poor mood is AJS. We're going to have another airlock right in here. So I'm going to build a wall up there and another door right there. What just happened? They're leaving. Dr. Duane, oh, failed to recruit, okay, and a poor mood. So, AJS, what's with you right now? Needs lots of negatives, feeling terrible, very hot, and he's on his way to a full-blown breakdown. So, AJS, what are you doing? You're hauling steel to horseshoe pin. All right, let's see you just drop that there, and then we're going to recruit you, and someone else can build it. You head into there. Let you cool down. It is 119 outdoors. So that heat wave is still hitting us, written right over here. Um, okay, horseshoes are in next to my list. Concrete pathways. So they walk around faster on concrete, or on, on floors. Just like uh, in Banish, they walk around faster on roads. And there might be floors that give a better speed boost. I don't remember. Concrete is one of your cheapest ways to put roads in. And wood floors is fairly cheap too. Get a lot more when you get into the stones. Silver is very expensive. Metal takes five iron, whereas concrete takes one or steel. So I, I take it they're not counting the, the the rock part of the concrete, just the the reinforced steel, the, the rebar. So let's go ahead and do that. And I think across here and there and fire that down. Oh at least like that. Then I don't know if the part that isn't dirt counts as being officially concrete floor. I'm not sure. We've got now Ash is at her wit's end and she just went to sleep, so she'll be fine. We're still we're 79 inside, so we're a whole lot cooler than we were out there. So any other roads that are important? I'm wondering if we want to get more crops in. That might be smart to do. Hmm. Let's send a concrete road, well, we'll call a road, a pathway, up through here. To where? And we'll go to there for now. And that's already concrete. We'll shoot down through here, like that. And we'll... Go ahead and do something along these lines here. Okay, so that will allow us to travel through the area quicker. This is going in, Rokes is taking care of that. Uh, we'll send concrete just kind of out a little bit. How did our alpha beavers ever do? Have we taken them all out? There's two. They may have split up and gone different ways. No, I'm only seeing two. So Eric has been cleaning them out. Good. I've never actually noticed them in our stockpile ready to be butchered. This guy's been waiting for a long time to be butchered. And the food did get hauled in somewhat. Are we really that low on food? Wow, we are. Hmm. So is everybody... Eric doesn't haul. Rokes is our night owl. That's right. Rokes, can you bring in these berries and then all of these meals? One, there's six meals. All these things are, are uh, going bad. Spoils in two days. So let's force him to do some some uh, carrying right now. Uh, right there. Can you drop that off? Hair revenge. Are you kidding me? Who's shooting? Eric's up here. Hmm. Apparently Eric was shooting at a hare. And... Let's see here. A, tear, a hare is attacking after being harmed. Other hares nearby may also become enraged. Jump to location. Pepper has been attacking hares. So Pepper left. Apparently didn't make it. Pepper is ready to do a, a, a breakdown. Um, is being attacked by this hare. And she's... I assume she is going through heat stroke right now and is in bad shape and the hares are about to take her out. In fact, I am guessing that she started to have a, a breakdown and went on a rampage and went attacking things. 
and the animals were the only ones around to attack. Too bad Bryden isn't programmed to go and help her out. He's just going to leave. So, don't know if any more hares in the area. We have hunted most of them. Okay. Now, unfortunately, we can't go and help. If she is... Does it say? She's broken and gone berserk. Right there. She's going to attack us if we come nearby. So she's going after this one now. Eventually she's going to just go unconscious and we can go rescue her. In which case, we really better have ourselves a medical bed. Um, let's just get one built. Make it happen. Uh, let's see. Furniture. Bed. Wood. That didn't work. Uh, wood and not R, but E. We're just going to pop that in right there. And Rokes, you're still out and about. You're hauling that in. Okay, drop those off. And let's get this built right now. So, how are we doing down here? Are you going to make it? You're still berserk. We can't do anything until she goes unconscious. And all of these animals are, are fighting, fighting back. So, we're going to unforbid these so we can butcher them. We're going to hunt this one. And I don't see any other hares. Quite often when that happens, all of the rabbits on the map will come after you. But I don't see any that are coming out to attack us. So it should be okay. Now, Rokes, did you get that finished? You did. Good. And let's set that as medical. It is a poor quality bed, but at least it's something. Because we are probably going to have to go rescue soon. Yep, she... Oh, that turtle took her out. Darn. Okay. That was Hacker's Mountain. She did not return. So... Well, we're still out to 36, so they're not holding that against us. Okay. So let's unforbid her... And she's got a survival rifle, normal quality, good. And I guess that's it, though we do need to make sure that they don't just bury her with her clothes on. We could use those supplies. So let's do this. Storage, we're going to clear all and uh, copy. We're going to do that to each one. So J is paste. Okay, they're going to go get her, bring her back, then we'll we'll grab all the valuables and then bury her. Okay, we're going to have to set some people to, to haul. I guess there's just no way around that. So let's do that. Work and haul. We're going to take that up to a one. Got to get this stuff hauled in and the stuff brought in where it's cold. Poor mood, though. AJS is still hurting. He's in a crowded... Well, he's not really in a crowded room right now. Um, what do I want here? there. His mood is on its way up. Because he's getting rest, pretty soon he's going to get a good meal, and hopefully he'll play some horseshoes and get himself back to normal again. Dr. Duane is hauling. Can you... You cannot... What? Is this rotted? Dead. Spoils in. Fresh. Oh, I have to not tell him to haul this. I have to tell him to do this, I believe. There we go. Prioritize butchering. butchering. When I first played with boomalopes, I was really worried that when they cut into it to butcher it, that we were going to blow this area up. But it doesn't work that way. It only happens when they initially die. So you assume at that point that all the flammables have been expelled. And AJS and Ronnie are both over here... Uh, Playing horseshoes. That's nice to see. Okay. So we're getting everything hauled away. And got some cooking going on. Too bad this isn't indoors where Harriet can be cool right now. The heat wave's not going to last much longer, hopefully. Alright, so over here. Set these to haul. We still need to hunt this one. Eric um, is hauling right now. He, that's a one, and, and hunting is a two. So once all the hauling is done, then we'll reset that back to two for everybody and get back to, to where we were. Alrighty, so back to my list. Um, slag piles. We want to get more slag in here, and we've hauled all the slag that happened to be in our area, so we need to actually go out and queue up some. So let's haul things and we're going to get rid of the slag here and here 
and that's viable and I would say that and that and that's going to get our uh, our pathways thoroughly blocked slag isn't something I believe that someone can hide behind unlike boulders so that we can shoot over it and hit our enemies if we loaded this up with boulders our enemies would be able to hide behind the boulders and not be harmed so that that would work against us but I got to thinking I probably do want to extend this wall as far as I can so that whoever is standing here shooting has more time to take out the bad guys before they make their way in Eric where are you you're over here taking out alpha beavers okay let's see how this works now he's hiding behind what happened Oh, he's eating a meal. <laughs> he's hiding. He was behind the block, which and, and trees also will offer a certain amount of, of cover. So when they're out in the open, he has a much better chance of hitting it than when he's behind the trees or behind rocks. So that does affect the, the odds that you're actually going to make contact. Right now, he's, he's being blocked by that tree. Poor mood is Ash. So Ash is... How bad... Poor Mood is there, and Gone Berserk is there. Because Ash is now in more space, this moves this direction. Once Ash gets visitors, gets confined in a tight space, then, then this will drop way down, and that'll start to be affected again. Um, not a whole lot that I can do for Ash, other than wait for the warning again and put her into here. Now, I've noticed there have been times when I've set people in, like AGS, into here, to cool down and they forgot about them. Snow Coyote I did last time. So there's a timer apparently at which time let's see where the visitors are at which time uh, it'll shut down by itself. Um, these guys are from Hacker's Mountain again. Factions still at 36. Okay so they didn't hold um, more beavers over here. Where'd these guys come from? They didn't hold uh, against us, uh, Pepper. The other beavers were over here. They moved their way all the way through and have got their way to here. They're already marked for, for hunting. Interesting. Okay. So, um... Okay. I was, that's right, I was looking at the visitors because I wanted to make sure that they were not going to walk through the pathway of Eric shooting. And, okay, I think I'm going to have to take control here. We need to actually go, like, right there. They like to get out at the extreme limits of their weapon. I guess it's it's programmed for, for military, you know, for attacking. So get out to the extreme so there's a less chance of raid tribes people they're attacking immediately okay all right eric you are drafted you are on your way to well to here for now where's the raid coming in we'll do this oh wow we actually have a few all right we had something queued up here to haul so who has made it out there rokes you're on your way to haul okay you're bringing this stuff in here okay so let's make sure everybody is inside. Let's make sure that our guns are turned on. This would be a good way to end this episode, I think. Unfortunately, we're going to do it at night. So, unfortunate for several reasons. It's harder to see. And power switch. Toggle on power. And uh, they're all going to be at the end of their their day, their, their rest. They're, they're going to be cranky. And we're going to have to deal with that. Okay, these guys are on their way in. These guys are taking the north path okay they're he heading up this way so Eric will have time to make it in Dr. Dwayne you are hauling you cannot shoot am I correct there go back to Dr. Dwayne I hit the wrong one character you don't have any shooting skills you were a glitter world empath okay so we just need to be aware of where you are so we can keep you uh, safe Half of them are going south, half are going north. Ah, they're splitting up on us. Okay, so you guys are doing the hauling. That's probably good. We'll see if they meet up in the middle. I assume they're coming in this way. Rokes is heading in like that. Rokes has got a weapon. 
Poor mood. Ash. Who does have a weapon. Okay. I'm going to send Ash in right now to cool down. So that she's recharged at least a little bit when, when the time comes. Let's set Pepper for Strip. And AJS has a weapon. Rokes has a weapon. Can he make this trip? That's iffy, but I think he can. Okay. He's on his way in. These guys are taking up cover, and they're going to start shooting at our visitors. He's going at them uh, melee. We've got to protect them. So AJS, you are drafted and going here. Who else is around that has a weapon? Brand. Not really any good at, at fighting right now. Melee only for Ronnie. So that's not going to help us at the moment. Eric, I need you indoors. Probably right there. Okay, you're heading that way. Shay, you've got a pistol. I want you to help out these guys. Let's get you... Let's see. I think I sent AJS to here? To there. So it's going to send you to there. Uh, pistol doesn't have very much range, but this should be enough to help. What I worry about is our people are going to shoot our friends trying to take out this guy. So we may have a problem there. Um, who else here? Dr. Dwayne can't. Eric is on his way. Bran can't. Ronnie can't. Shay is on his way. AJS is. Rokes, you can already do some good. Let's send you right here. Who's left? Snow Coyote has the ability to do some, though only has a four in shooting. But that's enough for, to help us out for now. Let's send you to there. Who have we got left? Harriet is only melee. Okay. Ash is able to shoot, but is ready to break down. I think we've covered everybody. It'd be nice to have Huntsman on our side right now. So these are coming from the Trudeau of Shrew. All right, let's see what happens. These guys are ready to shoot. Or are they? That's right, we have more coming. Ah, oh, they're coming from down from up here. And they're actually splitting up and going south. I've never seen that before. I've always seen them split up and then meet up together again at a certain point. But they're actually going to continue south. Wow, okay. Then I want, let's see. You two draft, I think, indoors at the moment. And get you to calm down in there. Dwayne, draft indoors. Get you guys cool down. And who else is not part of this fight? Anybody? We are... Okay, here's where it gets a little worrisome. Flea is trying to help. Rokes, are you in range? Bo, yes. If you click on the weapon, you can see the range. So that took out the bad guy. And who else is still here? Just Holland? Holland and Chef. I take it these are both... Because this was the tribal. Okay. These are both good guys. They're probably, I assume, going to try to make it into safety. But it could be they're just going to sit right here and fight. I'll have to wait and see what's going to happen. Chef is trying to get in. No, they're still going to fight. Okay, so we got to get out there to help. So you are on your way to there. Let's send you to here instead. You send you to... Don't want to get too close. We'll go there. Who else is left that's in this fight? Okay, you guys are heading in this way. So, boy. Be nice to get a pistol down there. I don't think we're going to get it. Okay, i got to make sure that they don't work their way through and actually cut off our retreat. So we may just lose some uh, some friends here. And I can see where we really need more hospital beds. I wish our infirmary had been mined out. We're gonna have a lot of injuries here. Okay, so Flea is just going in to attack. He must be melee. Flea the programmer, Flea's back. 
Hey, he made it. He has a pistol, which should be able to reach by now. Why is he getting in so close? Hmm, how's he doing? He's getting close. And Holland, injuries? He's been hit by a club a few times. Otherwise, just heat strokes going on here. Okay, you guys are not really trying anything, so you're not in range. So we got to get you in range. And that's hard, because I don't want to take a uh, an arrow. All right. Shay, I know you've got a good run speed. You are going to go here. And Rokes, I think you've got a good run speed as well. You're going to go here. And Snow Coyote, um, I don't remember there being a problem with your run speed. No, you have a slow move speed. You can't do this. Let's send you down here to help with these then. They're going to come in this way. And it'd be nice if you were sitting right there. We'll try that. Um, how is Ash right now? Mood? Eh, not too good. And not really improving either. That's too bad. I think we're just going to have to, to risk it. Ash, I need you down here to help Snow Coyote. You're right there. All right, so... They're all aiming for Flea. Let's see if Rokes and Shay can get into place. Can't get you to hit that, huh? Out of range. Darn it. Pistol is right there. Ah! And this... Borba? Great bow. It's not showing a bow down here. Interesting. Uh, can definitely hit Shay if he pokes his head around. So... I could try to micromanage this. Let's try this. You're going to go there. And now you can shoot. Okay. Let's get Rokes. He's already being fired at. Rokes, you go here. No, you're not. He, that was his arrow. Okay. So you go back there. Go here. Okay. Make sure that he's still shooting downward. He is. Flea is going to take a, the brunt of this here. So what's happening down here now? They... Oh! What? Where'd you come from? How'd you get it? Oh! He must have gone by just as Eric arrived. Eric, go here. And... Good. Missed. Okay, Eric, go here. Boy, this is... It's kind of interesting micromanaging a battle like this. He is still... Shooting downward. He took a hit. Got him, Shay. And these guys are in rough shape. We're still going after him. Um, Rokes, you both taking out this guy. Good. Okay. Back over here. Let's see. Looks like he's already maybe got a shot into him so far. He has not. Okay. You need to get out of there. Okay. So you... We've got to not be sitting here when these turrets start shooting. So we need time for Eric to get to there. You are shooting through here. We're already in. Okay. So yeah, when, they, when they're smart enough to split up their, their uh, front here, then that hurts us. I'm sending you guys in. Eric is right there. I think it's time for you to go in too. You have a slow walk, so we're going to send you inside. We're going to let these turrets do their job. Otherwise, these guys are out here and their path has been cut off. AJS, let's get you to here. Okay, you guys are still aiming at Flea. And these guys are taking... They always walk up and want to just pound on this thing until it blows up on them. So you guys made it okay. Nobody else from our team out there in danger, right? Okay, what's happening here? We're both working on this guy. They're working on Flea. We need to rescue this guy if it's ever possible. Flea is dead. Flea's down. These guys are now aiming at us. Yeah. Let's get Shay. Hmm. I wish there was more rocks over here. These are all slag. So that's no good. Well, let's, Shay, let's get Shay's shot off. And then we need Shay and his trusty dog, Pest, <laughs> to pull back. Uh, you go there. 
and got him. Good shot, somebody. I'm thinking Rokes had the angle there. All right, so Rokes is already aiming for this guy. Shay, you come on in here. Aim from... Go for here. And AJS, you've only got a pistol. You need more distance. Um, behind this tree? Are you aiming? Before we do that, what's happening in here? The turret is still there. He... Uh, dead. Okay. He's taking out the tur turret from there. They're both going after this guy. It's ready to blow up. Turret has taken out this one. And he's trying to shoot a turret. Okay. Alright, so they're being hit there. What's happening here now? You are aiming at AJS. Who is moving, right? No, nope. who's, who's standing behind that tree. Let's see if the tree works. It, it took the blow. They are fleeing. Who's our fast ones? AJS... You're a four. Shay is a four. Rokes is also. All three... Uh, no. Who's got the most range? You've got a good range. You're a pistol. You're a pistol. Okay. Um, darn. Alright, all three. He's going through there. Let's go to here. If we don't catch you and, and shoot you by then, then we got to get back and rescue these guys. So over here, these guys are fleeing. You are stuck right there. This turret has blown up. Darn. Nothing can hit them. Even though there's a pathway here, they're aiming for the doors. This turret still exists. And Ash, hop out here and take them out. Go there. And Eric, where are you at? Hop out here. You head into that area there. Um, actually, let's send you to there. Who else has got a weapon? Uh, we could melee. We really could. Ash and Ronnie, you... How about you just take out Lax here? Laxy? Lakes? And Snow Coyote, you get over to here. All right, so we have another round going. I'm going to take these guys out for what they've done to us. Now, how bad are you? Trivial blood loss is all. Bunch of knife cuts. Okay, you can, you'll make it for a little while yet, I'm assuming. Well, that is probably a bad assumption. Now, let's give them a try. See what they can do. See if they can get there. I don't know if they can. Actually, I can see right now they can't. Okay, then let's instead unrecruit and go save Al... No. Albio? Yeah, capture Albio. Al... Alboy. Alboyo. Alboyo. Okay, capture Alboyo. And what is happening over here? So these other ones we need to get into the battle. So, Rokes, I need you instead to go right there. And AJS, let's send you right here to back him up. Okay. Or can I get you down underneath? I can get you right over here. These guys are going to break through. Let's see if we can take them out on their way down. Okay. I know this episode is running long, but if I stopped in the middle of it, you'd probably mutiny. So... We're going to finish this one out. So who is on their way to help over here? Ronnie is melee attacking. Yep. Oh, oh, oh. Stop. Force, stop forced attack and... Hmm, how do I say stop shooting? We're still in line. Let's... Hmm... How do I say... I can force attack to something, and I can stop that forced attack, but I can't do anything else. I can't tell it to just stop working. Hmm. Okay, let's force it to attack this guy. Alright, that'll keep them safe there. You attack this guy as well. No other 
This guy is trying to shoot over there too. Because he can't reach that one little spot. Oh, that's, that's something else. So, I guess I'll tell you to force attack right there. Alright, that'll keep Ronnie safe. And Ronnie's done. And Ronnie... Dead and dead. Took him out. Okay. Let's turn these turrets off. And Ronnie, undraft and go and turn that off. Eric, I need you over there before these guys get through. That should line you up pretty good. In fact, let's just send you to right there. Right like that. And Snow Coyote, you're also going to be in line with this. And Ash, you, you also are in line with this. Okay. You guys over there, Harriet, and you guys can go to bed. And what was that? Okay, we're... Where are the guns? Everybody's out of range. Okay. Alright. Shay, did you make it down there yet? Or AJS, you're on your way down there. Rokes is on his way in. Is there anybody else to rescue? So you are dead, dead, dead. Rescue and or imprisoned. Dead. Okay. I think we, they got through the door. Oh, and we're not in line anymore. Okay. So tell you what, one last try, then we're going to call this episode done. You three, I just want you to come right through the doors and go right here. Let's do that. Now what happens? Are they going to actually... <laughs> gonna walk right through amazing okay snow coyote then how about you just go right there now uh, there and Eric you go right there and Ash you go right there let's get this done pirate merchant is in oh we just got our comms console done anyway let's see if what happens here come on Ash Ash is uh you are wandering so you just broke oh and we attacked snow coyote just took him down okay and you are down okay so we've taken everybody out i don't think anybody escaped let's turn everybody off undraft make sure that okay all is well for next time. Rokes, you guys. Okay. Um, we have Shay bringing in the tribal member. We have, let's see, we didn't have someone from the, from these guys injured that we were able to rescue, unfortunately. Now he's injured and we can't really interact with him. Dr. Duane yeah, I think Alpha 13 is going to let us heal them, but that's not an option right now. So all we really have for this bed is Snow Coyote, who is probably not very injured. Um, heat stroke and took a bruise. Okay, and she should be on her way to there. We're going to turn that off. And <clears throat> she should be now on her way. To there okay they go to the first one they can find all right then crisis is pretty much over now we just have to clean up and get this all back together again get a bunch more graves made and yeah well that was exciting kind of a blow by blow too bad it happened at night it wasn't a very easy video to watch so you may have to turn up the uh, contrast on your screen a little bit to make it a little bit brighter but anyway um, I guess we'll call that one done. We'll clean up this mess next time. So this has been Noble Rambler. I thank you guys for watching and, and uh, hit the, the thumbs up and subscribe down there below the video and I'll catch you next time. Bye bye folks.